they normally would be, but that's okay. Hello. Happy Wednesday. I feel like I'm honestly a little bit bright. I think I could... Ooh, there you go. Maybe even one more. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Wait. Is that exactly the same as it was to start? Maybe. Could be. Well, anyway. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, I'm cold. <laughs> I've been cold all morning. So, I might end up with a sweatshirt on a little bit later, but thank you. I did my hair today. I didn't do it yesterday, so I was like, I'm gonna do it today. Um, I haven't really quite figured out how to style it with the headphones quite yet, but that's okay. We'll get there. I feel like it, get, it gets progressively better, usually, as the stream goes on. But anyway, what's new with you guys? People on YouTube, I didn't see you yesterday, but I did. Sorry if you weren't included in that, because you are a YouTube watcher. Um, so those of you on YouTube, I haven't seen you since New Year's. How's everything been going? How's 2024 kicking off? Hmm? How you feeling? You doing good? Cool. Nice. How about you? 2024 is going smashingly for me. I have cleaned my house, like, very thoroughly, which I hadn't done since I moved in September. <gasps> Chair Bear! Thank you! I love saying your username. Dear Bear, it's so cute. But thank you for five gifted community subs. Congratulations to everyone who got us up. Um, also, I don't know if you mind, but I might turn my mic up just like a little bit so it's even more crispy and loud. you for the super chat. I'm gonna go grab my coffee because I can I can smell it. I was watching this one show or was it a movie? It was a movie with Will Farrell? Will Farrell? Farrell? <laughs> How do you say his last name? Anyway, I think it's an older movie. Um, about like a soccer team he's coaching a soccer team and he's like what is that delicious aroma he's like finally getting into drinking coffee which I couldn't help but laugh at because that's exactly how I was I hated coffee <laughs> and then as soon as I got into it anywhere I would go and I would smell coffee I'd be like what is that delicious aroma? <laughs> um, no, I've never heard of that YouTube channel. But thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Feral, like an animal. Will Feral. And then we have Feral, like just just Feral. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god funny. Sorry about that. I bumped my microphone cord. Um, I'm gonna see if I can turn my video saturation up a little bit. I feel like we're lacking in color. <laughs> lacking in some luster. I think I have my camera set like one notch down on saturation. I 
I plugged in my mic and it said for a second, the USB device you've plugged in is not recognized. Um, should be pretty familiar by now. <laughs> you should know this one. We've plugged this one in many times. It should be, it should not be strange or danger. <laughs> my poor little, poor little computer. It's like, I don't know that guy. <laughs> don't plug that in. Also, the kitties are sleeping in my room, but if they do venture in here, they're going to hopefully sit right back there. I, I have to say, I had that stool like right here for Kiwi, but she chewed the leaves of one of my plants, so she doesn't get, she doesn't get to sit over there anymore because she's eating my plants and that's just not okay <gasps> marcelo happy two months of the show off here at quite a show off <laughs> i hope you got my message earlier on snapchat for those of you don't that don't know if you join the show off here you get like one-on-one -on -one social media access and I'll actually like contact you back <laughs> so yeah I also sent a postcard so that's pretty cool I love pen pals have you guys ever had a pen pal before like a legitimate one wasn't there like a website that you could organize pen pals from like you could sign up and then they would assign you one. Exactly. My computer did have amnesia. It's like one. I mean, yeah, I guess nowadays you could just do Skype or like Zoom, but I love written letters. Like I love handwritten cards and notes. Like I just think there's something so special about it. Oh, thank you for gifting a sub to Bolt Sam. Congratulations, Bolt Sam. Ad Adinda, Adinda. It's an iced coffee anyway, so it's not like it's getting cold. It already is cold. Here, I'll put this out of the frame so you can see the background. You're gonna hear me pour creamer in and then stir, just so you know. hack 
that I learned. I just thought of it because I was about to use the hack and then I was like, I should show them the hack. Okay, so obviously these come with a tin, a tin foil little like whatever. Sometimes they're really easy to peel, but sometimes they're not. Like, I don't know, sometimes this little piece isn't, isn't super easy to peel up for some people. So the hack is using this little thing like that and then there you go <laughs> that's the hack <laughs> it's not a very crazy hack but like i thought it was cool see good hack right you don't have to like scrape with your fingernails it works really good and it works every time and it takes like very little effort. <gasps> Marcelo! You're gifting five memberships on YouTube. Thank you. Use your teeth. No. Okay, so imagine. Imagine you don't have access to a knife or like scissors or anything like that. All you need is the cap of the bottle. Like the same bottle that you're already holding. I just, I think it's nice to be able to use the item you're already accessing as a tool to further access the same item. <laughs> so you don't have to involve extra tools additionally. But anyways, I'm gonna go put this in my coffee and then I'll come back and drink it. I really love this wheelie chair, it's so fun. <clears throat> so, so, one of my students that I teach gave this cup to me. It's got a really nice, I'm gonna spill if I do that. It's super sealed, okay? There's like a rubber ring to seal the lid on. This thing flipped all the way over like tumbled in my car, landed upside down, like upside down in my cup holder and like nothing spilled. It was crazy.
very, very light copy, as you can see. Whoa. Yes, I do find myself just randomly tapping on things to make noises. Yes, 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 yes. I still want to say thank you for your Colorado wildflower video. Maybe some more. Something is up with my mic today. This, this poor mic. It's having problems. <laughs> More singing videos. I can definitely do that for you. Um, whoopsie daisy is right. <laughs> Whoopsies. I know it's only noon for me, but like... Hanging out with you guys is so much fun. I am like ready for I really hope that no one read my lips wrong there. Um what I said was cocktail. I'm ready for my first cocktail. But I'm, I'm gonna drink my coffee instead. Um, but like that root beer cocktail that I told you about yesterday sounds really good right now. <laughs> uh. I want to do soon a reaction live stream where we just get to like watch videos together, and I have funny commentary on them. I just, oh, I really felt like that would be a good time. I've never done one of those before. <sighs> one mic equals one prayer for the mic. Honestly, please, like, the mic needs prayers. <laughs> please pray for my mic. <laughs> pray for my poor little yeti. It is dented. It's been dropped so many times since I've gotten it. It's crazy. See, it's five o'clock somewhere. It's six o'clock for some of you. It's plenty, plenty late enough to have a drink. But see, if I have a drink with you, I'm over here getting like day drunk and that's just not, that's not my normal routine. We'll say. But like, I will think about having a cocktail with you guys. Maybe in like an hour. A good cocktail experience can be life changing. It's true. It's so true. The garbage plate. I feel like I've had that or like something like it before. I feel like it reminds me of something like poutine. Poutine. And something that we have in some of the diners here. It's poutine. Fast and aggressive Gordon Ramsay tutorial. <laughs> We just are close enough to Canada where we have that too. <laughs> P 
peacekeeper, a central bee. Like, you guys, <laughs> live your best life. If that means that you can't be here to mod the stream, that's okay. <laughs> Go get a good lunch. Like, feed yourself good food and be a little bit late. I would rather you do that, please. From the bottom of my little, wee little heart. says it all, but why do I partially feel like that could actually be a really good video? It just needs to be made well. Jacob, oh my. Jacob on YouTube just uh, gave me a super chat of C Z K is that is that Czechos Czechoslovakian Czechoslovakia it is is it the Czech Republic is it not Czechoslovakia <laughs> I can't even say that it's like Worcestershire <laughs> Czechoslovakia right is that how you say it or the Czech Republic is that what C Z K is anyway he's that you remind me of a great in parentheses and attractive <laughs> that's the part that got me <laughs> you remind me of a great and attractive teacher that i had in soil mechanics however i couldn't send her a donate lol <laughs> honestly why not i feel like you can tip your teachers if they're doing a good job they'd probably really appreciate that honestly <laughs> Dexterity, thank you. I appreciate you as well. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> and attractive. <laughs> oh my goodness. turn off. Okay, perfect. Now I can be really, really, really close to your face. And I can do a little bit of this, and I can do a little bit of this. Can you use that? That's this. See, this is when I think I need to turn my brains down a little bit. So when I'm close up, it's not over. not recorded, but I have the concepts in mind. Would you like to hear what I am going to do for my next video, or do you want it to be a surprise? Surprise, 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 surprise. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> Since some people want to know and some people don't, I guess, um, if you don't want to know, if you would not like to have the surprise spoiled, put yourself volume down for just a second and I'll go like this when I'm done talking about it. Does that sound good? Like, just turn your volume down for a little bit so I can spoil the surprise. 
for those who want to know, and then I'll go like this, and then you can turn your volume back up. Sound good? Are you ready? The surprise of what my next video is going to be. It's nothing crazy. I mean, really. Alright, if you do not want to know what the next video is going to be, if you want it to be a surprise, turn your volume down. Right now, turn it down. Down, 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 down. Let me give him a sec. Let him cook. Okay. Turn, 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 turn. Down, 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 down. Hopefully everyone's volume that doesn't want to know is turned down. I feel like they're going to be curious and they're going to turn it up again before I do my thumbs up. Um, did I do my thumbs up early already? Sorry. Okay, if you still don't want to know, keep your volume down. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Everyone else? You ready? Okay. <clears throat> I was thinking of doing my first official ASMR Reiki session, R-E-I-K-I, -I. and I'm also going to use that as an opportunity to further educate people on what Reiki really is, because did you know that Reiki as like a practice is actually meant to be done on yourself? I bet you didn't know that. Reiki's not meant to be something you do to other people. It's something you do for yourself. So, um, I was going to do a Reiki ASMR that is also serving as like a tutorial on how to do Reiki on yourself. And just like an educational video on Reiki. What do you think about that? I thought that could be very soothing and like just, I don't know, I'm trying to get more into my healing content because I did a lot of role plays last year which was great but I want to get back into what I really feel is important to be sharing in my content which is like positivity and healing spirituality not necessarily spirituality as a whole but like aspects of it that have helped me personally anyway that's the surprise Reiki ASMR that's what I'm thinking of. If you didn't want to know, <laughs> you could turn your volume back up. Go ahead and turn your volume up, 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 up. All right. Welcome back. If you didn't want to know the surprise, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Vote Jimmy here 2024. For what? Jinna rocks. Welcome in. Welcome to the community. Thank you for being here. I probably won't make another bird watching video until either the spring or the summer. That was a fall video, which this past year would have been a great time to revisit that, but I was just like not in a place after my grandpa's death. Like, I just, it was not in a place to go outside and do all that. Outdoor videos take so much more work than other ones do. So, usually it's easier to just stay here in my house. But the bird watching video was really cool. I drove an hour up north to make that one. If you haven't seen that video, which I feel like a lot of people haven't seen that because it's just like not popular and it doesn't like show up on my channel very often because it's not popular. Also, it was one of my first videos. Well, it was the. No, it was like. 20 something in. Um, share. Copy link. Who was that? Relish. 
welcome. This is the bird watcher video for anyone who wants to check it out. I just sent the link in the chat. Yep, it is the woodpecker one. There is some actual like footage of woodpeckers in my most recent outdoor meditation video. A safe place. That one also did really bad. It's so funny. I feel like all the videos that take me a lot of work, like physically, like where I have to like track all of my stuff outside and like set up outdoors and deal with the outside noises. Those videos never do good, so it's like so hard to be motivated to go and do them because <laughs> they never perform well. I think I need to do an outdoor like elf roleplay again. That one did well. The nymph. I'm not drinking, I'm just, well, I mean I am, but it's just coffee. I'm almost finished with it, to be honest with you. Mmm. YouTube algorithm doesn't like self-improvement videos, I feel. Really? That's interesting. Just use a green screen. You know what? I've thought about that. I've thought about how much easier it would make my life if I had a green screen. It would make it a lot easier to do stuff. And there's a lot of concepts that I want to do, but like, I don't have the ability to make the background set as good as I would want it to be. It would be so cool to be able to like 3D model my background sets. So it's like, I technically did the set design, it's just like not physically real, but it looks real. Um... Yeah, YouTube notoriously hates self-care, self-improvement, and mental health. What? That's so crazy and really good to know, actually. So should I be calling those videos, like, how to hate yourself? <laughs> like, what? I don't understand. That's so sad. This is the most drama you've ever seen in one video. That's what I'll call my next guided meditation. <laughs> you won't believe the drama in this video. true. I feel like YouTube has been pushing like satirical ASMR, like funny videos. What 3D software would you use for the background? I have no idea. I have no knowledge or education on that. The only thing that I know about 3D animation is from my ex, who was an animator, Andrew Westberg. Andrew, thank you. What the heck? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, but the only thing I know about that is my ex was like teaching himself how to how to animate, how to, whatever, yeah, okay, thank you for spoiling my story, but yes, he used Blender back in like 2019, when it was still like beta, 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 
Um, and yeah, that's like the only software that I've ever poked around on is Blender when I was with my ex, but that was a while ago. <laughs> and you know, when your significant other is like really passionately pursuing something, you kind of just let them have that thing. So I kind of was like, all right, animation is your thing. That's not my thing. But I always thought it was really cool and like I would definitely have ideas that I would quietly be like, you should try this. He would never listen to me, but like, <laughs> I have some good ideas. I'm creative. I just had no idea how to execute it. Thank you. God bless you as well. Thank you for saying that. That's nice. Like what? Um, my ideas, you mean? I don't know. Like I would just have ideas about like different transitions or like, I don't know. That's the reason he's an ex because he never listened to you pretty much. <laughs> also because he like lied and cheated on me but you know also because he didn't listen <laughs> for sure that was the, that was the reason i mean like it happens it it, it was an interesting relationship we could talk about that another time <laughs> we were not we were not good for each other and you know what that happens I <laughs> I was gonna make a satirical video see okay I get really funny like skit ideas but they're not ASMR at all they're like normal normal voice <laughs> skits <laughs> Cord. You know how it goes. Anyway, you know how men do those satirical videos that are like... See, my idea is so bad, they're coming for me. <laughs> or they're coming for your dead body because I'm about to kill you with how great this idea is. Anyway, you know how men do those funny videos where they're like, I wasn't always an alpha male. Like, I used to be a sigma just like you. And then it's just like a bunch of clips of them like on the couch eating chips or just like whatever, like being like the opposite of what they're claiming they now are, which is like a gym bro and like, Okay, I think they're super funny because of the satirical. So I was gonna make one that's like, you know, I haven't always been wifey material. And then like just a bunch of clips of me just being like a degenerate and like, I don't know, like poking fun at how awful I used to be in my life. Like just bad qualities of myself. And then being like, now <laughs> like, I'm a perfect wife, like just, I don't know. I thought it would be so funny and like, <laughs> yeah, sort of like just, just poking fun at like the stereotypical titles that people put on themselves, I guess. Like people always are like, wow, I wish I could find a girl like you. Like you're such wifey material. I get comments like that every day and I'm like, okay, well, a, your perception of me is limited based on what you see online. <laughs> That's one thing. But also, B, the person I am today is not who I've always been. I, I too, had an immature teenage era. 
<laughs> where I made very bad decisions and I was not a good person and was certainly not wifey material so I just thought it would be really funny look at me I'm crying because I'm I'm laughing but I'm laughing on the inside I know you can't see it but on the inside I'm, I'm dying right now I just thought it would be funny to be like like imagine <laughs> like just walking into a room like <laughs> Coming, coming from over here and being like, you know, I haven't always been wifey material, just like from nowhere. And then the camera keeps panning and I just keep walking and like behind me, you just see different versions of me just like doing the worst shit. <laughs> just thought it would be so funny. <sighs> I love satirical videos like that. I think they're great. And I've always wanted to be a satirical, like, skit person. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know. I have great ideas, I just never execute them. So if you see someone steal that idea, just know I, there you go. There it is, for free. For free. Here's your content idea. <laughs> And then, and then the title of the video would obviously be How to Become Wifey Material. Like, it's a tutorial. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. Like, I want to do the opposite of, like, the alpha male thing. Like, I want to be like... <laughs> you know, I always... I haven't always been the perfect girl. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Yep, alpha female. Exactly. Can you tell a story in soft spoken? Such a good clickbait title. That's what I'm saying. Like, when I think about like, all right, like what other type of content could I make that would be like viral content? What other cringe content could I make? That's where my brain goes. <laughs> Is videos like that. Pick me satire. Exactly. Exactly. But like so serious about it. Like like I I believe everything I'm saying. I just I think I have the acting skills to pull it off. I want it to be so borderline serious that people get mad in the comments and they're like, I can't believe there's girls like this that actually exist and like call themselves a wifey material blah, 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 blah. I want that <laughs> I want that reaction look at me, my eyes are watering <laughs> losing it over here <laughs> okay I'm gonna make my TikTok debut with my satirical skits and you guys better blow them up even though they're probably not gonna be filmed very well We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Me being like, this is one branch of content I want to make, but then I'm also going to make Reiki. <laughs> Self help <laughs> healing videos. <laughs> it's like I can't decide. Do I want to show up on the internet seriously, or do I want to show up as a complete joke of myself? Oh! I totally forgot about that. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm awful. <laughs> you had everyone turn their volume down. <laughs> That's so bad. What? You guys, you know nothing. I didn't say anything. <laughs> you know, you know nothing that you, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember how I said it was cold earlier? I'm I'm sweaty now. <laughs> okay. Alright. What did you say about the Yandere video? If it helps you, my first video was your Yandere video. So be silly. I actually have a follow-up to the Yandere video. 
for this Valentine's Day. I hope you guys love it. I'm really excited to film it. You know what? I, I really do think I need to execute my idea. The wifey material idea. I, I do think that would be funny. I'll see what I can do. I'll show you guys my draft and you can tell me if it's good enough to post. <laughs> Do you want to know what's crazy? I mean, most of my videos, if not all of them, except for the Southern Girls Serenade You, that one had a, a script. Um, but... All of my other videos are just improv, which means that Yandere video was improv. And I don't know where any of that storyline came from. Picking the flowers up out of the trash, like all of that. All of that was just off the top of my head. <laughs> That's pretty nuts. I watched that video back and I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> this is insanity. It's always in one take. I, that's what I do. I sit down, I press record, and then I just go. I just ramble. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes I get like halfway through and I'm like, I choke, can't remember what to say. I don't know. But most of my videos are a one take wonder most everything <laughs> camera on let her cook i don't know if you've noticed but from the beginning to the end of the video there's always a progression of character like the character is always a little like eh at the beginning but by the end the character is like strong like like i get really into it by the end of the video because obviously if you spend 40 minutes pretending to be someone else by the end of the 40 minutes you're going to be way better at the character than you were at the start so if you haven't noticed in my videos that the end seems like it's a little better than the beginning that's why because <laughs> at the beginning i usually have no idea where i'm going and by the end i'm i'm somewhere <laughs> i'm somewhere else Please don't fall asleep. But everyone in Europe who's starting to wind down and beyond Europe, Asia, India, etc., Australia. Is it is it evening in Australia right now? Hopefully. ramped up off of my satirical content binge rant and ramble
it's snowing where I am as well. Love that. Hello from the USA to Perry. Perry. Alright. <clears throat> This is a hundred.
that's not what I meant to click on. <laughs> but somehow it was on the bird watcher video. Craziness. Random, because we were just talking about that earlier. Oh, it feels so good. Gotta love a good stretch. Okay, I grab my water. Also grab this. <laughs> I would really like to um, try and make a better thumbnail for the live stream. So one sec. I'm gonna see if I can take a screenshot or something. Okay, wait. Actually, can one of you take a screenshot and then send it in the Discord? Make sure your stream is set to the highest quality possible so we can get a nice HD screenshot. And then I'm going to use it for the thumbnail. Are you ready? I'll pose for you. Ready? That's usually what I do when I'm taking my, my thumbnails. I just go like... There you go. Can you please, please send it immediately to the Discord? And try to make sure there's no like line down here with like how long the stream has been going. Nothing like that. Nice clean screenshot. I'm waiting. Discord, come on. Sinchobi was a bully. What? Sinchobi. I've never heard negative feedback about you. Okay, Discord. What? What's going on? I said immediately. <laughs> Wait, that actually sounds like really good. Um, yes. I'm not sure if the Discord link is gonna work in here. Nobody? Nobody, you guys. What the hell? Um, hold on. Hold on, friends. Let me get you an invite link. How likely are you to recommend Windows to others if asked? Not likely. I'm not getting paid for that. What the hell? No free sponsorship Windows. God. Okay. Invite people. Copy. Oh, thank you, Sandrovi. Here, here it is again. Just, just because. Like, why is our link different? What the heck? I'm so disappointed. There's, there's still no screenshot. You guys, do I need to pose again? <laughs> Where did my teeth go? <laughs> Look, I got no teeth. Oh, cute. Grumpy grandpa. That's pretty nice. Except it's it's pretty low quality, but that's okay. It looks nice on my phone, actually. Ooh. <laughs> How did you get that so fast? <laughs> like, does this not look like a who out of Whoville? Like, where are my teeth? <laughs> Why is that so... <laughs> oh lord, I thought I was being really cute. Unusual join activity. Whoa, we got a lot of new people. Aww, Kosriva, that one's nice. You guys are actually doing good with your- I'm saving these, these are nice. Save. Please check your- what? Aww. Wait, these are all- oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's so- <laughs> That's such a meta thumbnail, I love that one. <laughs> Aw, Julian. Love that one. 
you guys are so great these are perfect okay now which one should i choose if you have gotten yourself into the discord do this and add a reaction to whichever one you like the best i like that one that one's cute I like this one though. These are all really great. <laughs> of course, of course. You like this one. <laughs> Why does my tongue look so weird? <laughs> what is going on? What is happening with my mouth? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, we'll use this one for now. What do you mean? I'm so confused. Please check your system network and privacy settings for the photos app. What? I have saved so many pictures from Discord before. Is it suddenly not allowing me? Photos, which one should I use? What the hell? Where is the Discord again? Uh, um. Huh? Discord already has access to all of my photos, so I'm confused. Whatever, I'll just do it on here. Do it on my computer. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. It's right in front of me. Okay. <laughs> you guys, stop. <laughs> stop with these pictures. You're <laughs> making me look bad. Okay, hold on. Let me save this image. Silly. Silly PNG. And then we'll do whichever one has the most likes as a backup. <laughs> Not the Grinch face. Not Cindy Lou Who. Whoa. Is that one from last week? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, ready? Everyone go watch. I'm gonna change the thumb thumbnail right now. If you go to my channel and then you click on this live stream, you should see. Wait, can I not change the thumbnail? There we go. Okay. What? The file is bigger than two megabytes. What? Man, that's some BS. All right, hold on. <laughs> it's so weird, my... These screenshots just keep getting worse and worse in terms of how bad I look. <laughs> they started off really nice and then they just slowly got worse. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> Live. Wait, what? What is going on? so difficult. <laughs> I'm having a hard time, you guys. <laughs> I thought 
<laughs> this is gonna be a really easy thing to do and it's turning out to be not easy. But I know what I need to do. I'm super close. The closest I've ever been. I had to open up the desktop on my Safari because my YouTube app just wasn't doing what I needed it to do. Okay, ready? Look, okay, I'm trying to click, hold on, let me turn my hand bring this down, I'm trying to click change, and it just keeps, <laughs> it just keeps glitching out. <laughs> it's just not working. so good. Everyone who sees the live stream then would see that picture and it's just gonna be so funny. <laughs> I'm trying to do it on my PC but it says the picture is too big and I don't want to like make it less quality because normally my phone just like doesn't care about the size of the thumbnail. I've uploaded raw pictures that are like 17 megabytes but YouTube is like it's bigger than two megabytes. It's, it's too big. Oh yeah, maybe you can do it, Sinjali. If you can, just... I don't know, I don't know if you're gonna be able to do it, to be honest, because it's probably gonna tell you it's too big. Which... I don't know, normally it'll work on the app. But my YouTube studio is not even pulling up the live stream. It's like, that doesn't exist. I'm struggling. I don't know if I can do this right now. <laughs> I could do it on my iPad, but that's just like so much work. Um, I was trying to do the one where I'm laughing and holding up the the Whoville face. The one I sent you is 815 kilobytes. Well, what the heck then? Wait, what? Seems like you were using that phone as a hammer. <laughs> It's, it's pretty cracked. It's pretty bad. It's true. Okay, well, hold on. Let me see. Maybe I'll just do something else in the meantime. That one works. For now. But I liked the silly one. Hold on. Well, I, I did change it to something else.
That was very difficult. If someone wants to turn the original laughing photo into something smaller than two megabytes, feel free so we can use it. <laughs> it did work. The last one did work. Maybe I'll use the one dexterity. I do like this one, that one's cute. No, that one's still bigger than two megabytes. Like, how? <laughs> what the heck? Whatever, I'm just gonna keep it as the one I put it to. It's fine, that doesn't matter that much. I just don't like it being just like the white screen with Sharia, right? It's so boring. I need something bigger. through the photos in the Discord chat. <sighs> Cute, Julian. I like that one. I look very happy and blissed. Can we use hydrate now? Absolutely. Cheers. Tenacious. Do some singing. Um, I freaking love you and you're my fave YouTuber. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Do you pronounce it Jesus? Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. I did eat the leftover pizza yesterday. It was very, very good. I ate it for dinner after dance. It was delicious. Have I ever been to Florida? Yes, I have. I've been to Daytona Beach, I've been to Clearwater, um, Miami. I think that's pretty much it. St. Petersburg, maybe. Or something like that. Saint something? Not St. Thomas, though. Oh, I've been to Anna Maria Island. That was fun. A very cool place. I liked it there a lot. How is the training going for the dance thing you were invited for? It's going pretty well. You live on Anna Maria? Nice. It's very quiet there. At nighttime, at least. They turned me into a horror thumbnail. What? What? Oh, thank you for the less than two megabytes version. Resized. <laughs> oh my god, scary. <laughs> what the hell, you guys? <laughs> You're so rude. So rude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I almost
almost changed the thumbnail on my recent video instead of the live stream. <laughs> that would not have been good. <gasps> it worked! Perfect. Now we can have the funny one. <laughs> Love it. Okay, let me know if it worked for you guys. Every time someone mentions your hair, I think about the air wrap curler. I wish I had a Dyson air wrap or whatever they're called. I'm I'm actually zoomed out as much as I possibly could be. We could we could zoom in though if you wanted to and get like really nice and close. It got very dark though. Why why is it so dark? <laughs> this is a horror thumbnail if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> yes, very true, Sinchobi, very true. So smart. Such a little smarty. <laughs> My YouTube community's like What is this side of Cherie? I've never seen her like this before. Yeah, this is... This is, um... This is real! This is me! I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. I'll give you a sub or a membership if you can tell me what that song is from. Gonna let the light shine on me. Now I found who I am. There's no way to hold me in. No more hiding who I wanna be. This is me. I don't think I did it quite as angsty as she did, but you're right, it was from Camp Rock, and the first person who said that was already a sub, <laughs> so we're gonna gift it to the next person. <laughs> Beatles, the white album. Frag Rounds, congratulations. You are gonna get a sub. Congratulations. Pitch perfect. All right, and then, oh uh, wait, I can't choose who I want to gift YouTube memberships to? That's lame. Whatever, I'm just gonna. Perfect. All right, ready? Five memberships are going to get gifted into the YouTube chat. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <sighs> Congratulations. If you got one. Oh, thank you, Sinchobi. I get 10 memberships to give away every month. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. So... If you see me live on YouTube, don't hesitate to just like pop in. Maybe I'll be gifting away memberships. You never know. Get 10 every month. fabric. This trigger in a video would be the best. This? Also, what the hell is that? Sorry. 
next time we need to go in the wash, obviously. <laughs> I feel like I don't even know what that is. Like <laughs> No, no, that's that's not what it is. I it might be I almost wanna say it's shaving cream from the barber video that I recorded forever ago. <laughs> like earlier this year. <laughs> this really needs to be washed. <laughs> I don't use it for anything other than ASMR, so I just like never wash it, but it clearly needs to be washed. <laughs> this used to be just like a dish towel, and then I was like, you know what? Some, give me some good, good sounds. So then I just started using it for ASMR, and it's just lived in my desk for a while. It's probably not makeup. I don't really... I don't really have like face makeup on. I have eye makeup, but no face makeup. It could be toothpaste. I, I've never really used toothpaste in a video though, or on a stream. So the only thing I can really think of is like shaving cream. Cause I, I think I did use this to wipe my hands off during that video. It's not a save, you guys. <laughs> I'm not a man. I don't have like a rag. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> Come on, you guys. You're so weird. Such weirdos. <laughs> Me just saying a rag. Don't need to add anything extra to that. You know what I mean? I love that I add LIVE to the title, LIVE, in capitals, LIVE, and people are like, is this recorded? Is this, is this pre-recorded? Poor us, right? That the internet is that deceitful that if someone says they're live, automatically we're like, are you really though? Are you really live? Is this really live? I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You got me. I just said it was live to throw you off of the trail that this is in fact pre-recorded. You're right, you're right. Huh? What? Jacob? Okay. Thank you for the super chat, but the question about trains? I have- I don't know. I've never ridden on a train outside of the US, so I can't say. I f okay, they said, maybe you guys can help me make sense of this. They said, I freaking love you as well, but I'm not much into Amtrak and Union Pacific, etc. European trains are much nicer. Do you think it is worth it to buy some UP into my train sim world what i'm so confused <laughs> stop <laughs> don't say that i'm yes just say yes <laughs> you guys twitch chat that's not nice i don't think that's politically correct to be saying that either Or like, yeah, build those trains in your sim world. Heck yeah. I didn't know I was providing commentary on the train systems. I don't know when that happened or when that was brought up, but forgive me for stating an unintentional opinion on the trains. <laughs> it's totally fine that you don't agree. <laughs> I don't know if I agree either. What's up gamers? What's up gamers? Gamer gaming.
you as a citizen of the United States of America, what is your opinion on the American railway system? <laughs> we are conducting a brand new census to ask people what they think about the American railway system and if we should bring it back into popularity. Which, you know what? I think we should. I think we should bring back trains and get rid of the planes. <laughs> Just do trains. No more planes. Just trains. Certainly no more buses. What happened to trolleys? What happened to the trolley? I love trolleys. It's so fun. <laughs> Train conductor roleplay boy. <laughs> Me with absolutely zero knowledge on the mechanics of a train. Do you know how much research I would have to do to even make that a believable skit? I'm, I would have to learn about trains, like, to even make that video real, like, it's just... T ticket, please. I'm like in the Polar Express. <laughs> and I'm just clicking letters. Typing in, you suck. <laughs> that was me, and I'm sorry for saying that. You don't suck. on baby elephants should we encourage them yeah yes absolutely we should be encouraging all of the baby elephants to live their best baby elephant life yes hopefully we're talking about actual baby elephants and not some brand new controversial thing i have no idea about and i'm just being like yeah baby elephants woo. Hopefully we actually are still talking about baby elephants. Real baby elephants. Ew, what? Mods. Mods. Twitch chat needs some cleaning up. <laughs> oh my lord. Mods. <laughs> oh lord. Me being like, mods, take a break. Take it easy. And just goes crazy in the Twitch chat. <laughs> yes, I did figure out the thumbnail for now. White girl streamer with insensitive remarks on elephants canceled this Wednesday evening. <laughs> That's not funny, actually. Don't cancel me <laughs> for saying that baby elephants should, in fact, be supported. <laughs> should we encourage the baby elephants? <laughs> Just the word choice of the questioning. Should they be encouraged? <laughs> should we be in support of that? No idea, it would be such a hot take. Also, Ethan, are you sure that you're the one who bought your membership? Because I gifted away five of them, and maybe you just like got one of those. Also, if you want to cancel it, I'm sure you can just go in your settings or something. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not ramped up. What do you mean? 
Posh. Welcome. Thank you for the prime sub. A hype train is close. Fun times. Baby elephants, a hot take in 2024. You wish you could upgrade Ethan's tier? That's so nice to show me. Aww. I need a burp. Should I do it? Should I do it with the mic on? Should I turn it off? You know what? It went away anyways. It's too late. If it comes back, I'll let you know. <laughs> Put reverb on. <laughs> If only I could figure out how to use that. If only, if only. Like, <laughs> zoomed in so I feel like it would sound. are popping off right now. We were just gifted 10 memberships on YouTube by Marek Zlob Zlobiki. How do you spell, or excuse me, how do you pronounce that? Zlobiki. Anyway, thank you. Same Twitch chat, we got a hype train going. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet stuff. Thoughts on chess ASMR? DJ Chess Dog. <laughs> sounds like a personal question, but I mean, sounds relaxing. Chess is a very relaxing activity. I'm sure like, click, tap, you know what I mean? Like the sound of the pieces clicking each other. Be nice. I would like that. Wait, I have another spoiler for a video idea. If you don't want to hear the spoiler, turn your volume down. I'll give you a thumbs up when I'm done spoiling, okay? If you don't want to hear the idea, down right now. Volume down. Okay. Everyone else who is around. That made me think of another video that I'm going to be making, which is puzzle ASMR. Like a role play where you're doing a puzzle with your crush and like I will do the due diligence of actually taking hours of my own time to finish the puzzle so you can watch a hour long video and from start to finish the puzzle is completed. But yeah, I was thinking, yeah, puzzle ASMR could be good. Like the sound of putting the pieces in and like just like Phew, like them connecting to each other and just I thought it would be a good idea so I was thinking of doing like doing a puzzle with your crush or your friend or I don't know your aunt your sister who cares like <laughs> somebody you're doing a puzzle with somebody and like some of it will be dialogue and maybe in like inaudible whispers like to figure this outline out and like oh i think that this could go over there you know what i mean very relaxing very cozy different angles like i was gonna do an angle from the top of my head where it's like the back of my hair and you're looking down and like you can see me like putting pieces onto the puzzle and then shots from like the floor level and like like having it like this and like the puzzle is like really close up and then like another piece goes like phew like that you know tons of different angles tons of different sounds and like just sounds of like the pieces rubbing together that's another idea okay you can turn your volume back up if you if you didn't want to get the spoil <laughs> well i'm off not feeling it 
a little harsh, but okay, bye. See ya. That would make a good twin video. That'd be really hard though, like extra difficult. I already thought it was gonna be kind of a difficult video to make. <laughs> the chat spoiled a bit, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really difficult. The hardest part about shooting over multiple days is like continuously having the same hair and the same look, <laughs> like just, it's just hard to do that. You got sent home from work because you're sick. I'm sorry to hear that. Also, hi, level one complete. And level two, how? How, what? Little Sam FTW, thank you for a tier two subscription. I had no idea. Okay, someone just super chatted on YouTube and said, do a countdown to 10 with hand movements. So we could definitely do that. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for giving us an idea. Are you ready? Getting the focus right. Let me turn this down. Whoops. This is for a countdown addict. <laughs> Very 
Nice job, Dexterity. I'm proud of you. I hope that you land the position. Get into a field or a vocation.
almost you almost got me with that one <laughs> you almost got me <laughs> oh my goodness guys should i have my cocktail now it's like 2 p.m it's not bad Anyone want to have a drink with me? Anyone want to have a cocktail together? We're having some wine. Nice. <laughs> drink some water. Good idea. It is not the peanut butter whiskey. I'm sorry. It's just normal whiskey. love to do a follow the light, but I don't know where my flashlights are. <sighs> I have no idea where they've gone. Alright, cool. If you would like to have a drink with me, let's let's do it. Why don't I just make it right in front of you? Let me go grab. Okay, let me let me go and grab the supplies. The supplies are as follows. If you have these ingredients, you should make the drink with me. Root beer, whiskey, Bailey's Irish cream. Those are the ingredients. Root beer, whiskey, Bailey's Irish cream. If you would like to make this drink with me, go ahead and get your ingredients. I'm gonna go get mine and a glass full of ice and we will meet back here for a little bit of cocktail you've only spiked root beer well that's what i'm about to do okay be right back <laughs> Why does this just look terrible? Like, what are you doing right now, Cherie? Cherie? Cherie, what's, what's going on over here? Cherie, what kind of stream are we having today? That <laughs> new thumbnail. Wait, my camera's not focused on me. Ready? Let's make this drink. It'll be like the smooth southern charmer all over again. Whiskey in the jar. Okay. We are wild in today. I love it. <laughs> the straw is for my old Stanley. <laughs> it's so long. 
ridiculous. <laughs> and so ridiculously long. I love that. Okay. Let me turn my headphones back. Oh man, that's so funny. <laughs> Two foot long straw. Okay. Oh Lord. I'm gonna show my show my weakness on the stream. What if I can't get this open? Oh my god. Why did that feel so anticlimactic still? Like, I don't know. It wasn't what I was looking for it to be. Mm -hmm. ASMR, I don't know that. I like this one better. Maybe I don't need this. Uh, maybe I don't need to do this after all. <laughs> okay. Um. I got it. Don't worry. It's it's it, it's not even dirty. It's it's totally fine. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Are we ready, guys? So I don't have a measurer, like a shot measurer. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna do it like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like one, two, three. That's what we're gonna do. Ready? <clears throat> I don't need this to be like super strong, so I'm just I'm scared. That, that's that's good, right? That's like two shots, <laughs> maybe. Okay. This is the Bailey's cow. That, that makes sense. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> it smells very, very strong. Okay, next. That's more than two shots? Oh god, this is gonna be really strong on. Yeah, go for it, Sinjobi. Last but not least. Wait, where are we going? This makes it look like an iced coffee. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait. <laughs> this side, though, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, ready? I think I got too much ice in here.
I honestly don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's, it smells kind of strong. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But it looks good. Let's, let's try it. <laughs> oh, it's so strong. <laughs> oh, it's so strong. But it's good. It tastes good. It's weird. It like feels like a soda because of the root beer when you drink it. But then the aftertaste is like straight whiskey. Like you just took a whiskey shot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cannot get this to go on. There we go. It tastes like cola for the first couple sips, and then <laughs> it tastes like straight whiskey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, yeah. Cheers! Cheers, you guys. It looks good. Like, it's like very foamy and, I don't know. It's a good cocktail, I'm telling you. I just think I made it a little bit too strong. This is gonna be really interesting. I, I have to admit a few things to you. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't say this out loud, but pour with your heart. You know what, <laughs> that's a good motto. Pour with your heart. So, Here's my thing. I need, I need to remember I'm doing ASMR. Here's my thing. Don't post on YouTube. Why? Why not? I can post this on YouTube. It's already on YouTube right now. Hot whiskey. I've never tried that, no. Um, but here's the thing. It's like I only really ever drink if I'm like really sad. Like having a bad time. Or if I'm having a good time. And today, I'm, I'm having a good time. Like, a little bit too good of a time. I don't have a ton of food in me right now, if you know what I mean. My, my stomach's pretty empty, so it's not going to take very long for this to kick in. I, I can already kind of feel it. So just know that. I'm gonna get really hungry at the end of the stream, I already know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave so I can eat, but I planned on being here for most of the day, so also for sure I'm a lightweight on top of it, all of that. I'm definitely a lightweight. Did you used to vape? Not really. <coughs> oh my lord, that was disgusting. <laughs> There you go. Sorry I didn't put the reverb on. That was so like carbonated. Yeah, excuse me. You're right. That's the proper response. <laughs> excuse me. I'm very, very sorry and ashamed and embarrassed of that. <sighs> Don't need it to be strong. <laughs> Proceeds to make it <laughs> really strong. And this straw is just so funny. Okay. <sighs> that one tasted better. Thank you. Why do my eyes, they look so watery, like, it looks like I'm about to cry every second. I don't know what's going on with that. My drink seems so good, that's why I gave you the recipe so you could make it. It is really good. Oh yeah, my face is probably going to get red. No, I'm not even stoned. That's why I'm like, why do my eyes look like this? <laughs> no, I've never had absinthe. 
not just like straight up absinthe. When did I start dancing? When I was two, two years old, ballet and tap. I, I can guarantee you, yeah, guarantee. I don't know where the G went there, it kind of disappeared, but I can guarantee you I wasn't very good until like age seven or eight. So it took me a while. I had like four years of training before I was even any good. And then it still took me until like 11, 12, 13 to really like get myself situated in my body and like understand, I don't know, just like how to perform the best that I possibly can. Cause like, your mind-body connection when you're a kid is only so good. It gets a lot better as you get older. Coordination, but also just like the general understanding of like your lines. Dance is all about shapes and like shapes in movement. Like moving from one shape to a different shape that's complementary to the first shape. You know what I mean? So... It took me a little while longer to figure out like how to move my body so it best looks like appealing and satisfying when I'm dancing. That makes sense. But after after I figured that out, I got really confident. I was like, oh, I'm pretty good at this. So if you're ever struggling with self-confidence, learn how to dance. I swear to God. It'll boost your confidence because you know, you like feel comfortable in your body and it makes you so confident, I swear. <laughs> what style do I dance? A ton, ton of different ones. You guys. <sighs> I'm regretting my decisions. <laughs> Hangs head in shame. I'm already like. <laughs> oh, there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Not me about to just like show my guns off. <laughs> it's about to be like, do you guys want to see my biceps? <laughs> I've been working out, okay? That was me trying to make my burp as silent as possible. <laughs> Gun shell. No, but seriously, I've been doing like curls to try and even out. Because my right arm, I know it looks like my left for you, but it's really my right. Don't tell anyone. My right arm is so much bigger than my left because it's just my dominant arm. I'm sure you guys understand. So I've been really trying to like get the left one pumping. I'm like, come on, get your shit together. What? Really? You have yours flip flopped? Weirdo. <laughs> nice, you're working out right now. Good for you. And before I even started drinking, I already broke the seal, so kind of shot myself in the foot with that one. I'm going to have to pee like a million times. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's totally fine. It's also crazy how loud I am when I'm this close to the mic. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Dexterity. That's not what I meant. You know that's not what I meant. God, you guys. I swear. I could have. This is exactly how it happens for us poor girls. We have the most innocent commentary, and then some man out there is like, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just trying to be an innocent young lady over here, okay? <laughs> oh, stream elements did not like that. <laughs> Welcome to Twitch. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> I felt more like Beavis and Butthead a little bit when I was going like <laughs> It was giving me more Beavis and Butthead energy but Quagmire, I could, I could see how you got that <laughs> Okay Sinchobio, specifically. <laughs> I, need, I need to run something by you. <laughs> oh lord, I'm losing myself. I'm losing myself. I need to come back. And I need to be serious about this because it's a serious subject and it's, it's, okay. Raise your hand in the chat. Or you can like really like just put it up wherever you are. Raise your hand in real life. <laughs> but also in the chat, raise your hand if you are a fellow watcher of Moist Critical, aka Penguin Zero, aka Charlie. Does anyone watch him here? Raise your hand. Nope, we went over. So, if you are like me, a moist critical consumer, then you may have seen one of his most recent videos where he talked about the saddest Twitch stream of all time, which had to do with a streamer whose username was Caitlin Sup, S U P, but now it is Sup Caitlin, just in case you wanted to go creep. You're welcome. She changed her username. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> he's not small. He's got like... I don't even... I want to say he's got like 11 million followers now. Subscribers. Let me look. But anyway. He posted this video about the saddest Twitch stream ever. And it was of this girl, Caitlyn Sup. Now known as Sup Caitlyn. And she invited one of her moderators to come and hang out with her in real life. And then she did like a drunk Q&A with him. And she had a $500 donation goal where she kissed him. She made it into this huge spectacle and like humiliated this poor guy. Like it was... Just watch Moist Critical's video on it. He says everything that I would have said, but all in all, it was like so shameful and disrespectful the way she treated her mod. And I immediately was like, I should make a rebuttal to this where me and Sinchobi go hang out and we have like the best time. Like, maybe I could, like, game or something. Do something I don't normally do. Like, I want to go on your stream, Sinchobi, instead of you coming onto mine. I think that would be really fun. But I was like, damn. I can't believe people treat their mods like this. And, like, I want to showcase how awesome my mod relationship is and how, like, not weird and creepy it is. And so I was like, that would be so fun to do, like, a rebuttal. <laughs> but then I just was like... Mm -hmm. I don't know if that, that would actually like go over well. It did sound fun though. And after I watched that, I was like, anything is better than this. Poor guy. That was one of the videos I wanted to react to because I just thought it was so crazy and ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know, but like, okay, so the same... Why is this dress so long? The same guy he got on like a skype <laughs> no one uses skype anymore he got on a zoom call or like a video chat with charlie 
aka Moist Critical, aka Penguin Zero. They got on a voice call, video call, like talk to each other. And the entire time, he was just trying to like defend himself. <laughs> and like he was trying to defend her. And he just was failing miserably because you can't. There's just no defense. It was sad. Charlie was trying to help him and he just just like lost in the delusion and it's just it's just sad so he does deserve better he really does he should come on for me honestly i miss skype too skype was an era Ugh. it's so sad but i honestly thought that that was a really interesting choice I guess by the live streamer like I was just thinking right now about how like bubbly and silly and weird I'm being and I was like man that girl really chose to put herself in a situation where she needed to like genuinely get drunk and tipsy to even hang out with this poor guy and then she just like embarrassed the fuck out of herself <laughs> in my personal opinion like which, I mean, I guess m my point being, I'm going to try not to do that today. Because I feel like I have the same variables. Except not. There's there's no mod in my room. I just also, though, feel like Sinchovi and I would have a, a raging time. It would be so funny and not awkward at all. So, maybe one day. But like I said, I have to be a guest on your stream playing games so I can like yell <laughs> how much of this should I drink okay we're currently here I want to get down to like there or like there no probably there I think halfway <gasps> no way no way nine percent okay <laughs> like halfway it's like really strong you guys like really strong <laughs> big sip yeah big sip I'm gonna go get the other tuning forks I'm gonna go pee because I really need to do that and then I'll be back. It's been like an hour and a half since I last took a break. So I think every hour and a half, I need to take a break. <laughs> I need to take some go pee. An hour and a half is pretty good to hold your bladder. It's pretty normal. You're supposed to pee like once every two hours. I don't know if you knew that, but that's apparently what's healthy. Are you married to me? No, I'm not married to nobody. I'm a strong, independent woman. Don't need no man. <laughs> Ew. Sometimes, sometimes I do this. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you didn't like my attempt at Boston accent. I was trying to go for Margot Robbie, how she said that she got casted into The Great Gatsby. She said the lady told her to pretend that she had wet nails, like she'd just gotten her nails done. And she said the accent just, no, I can't. It's like already getting too southern. I'm not good at the boss. Boston accent. Boston. What are you drinking, coffee? Yeah. Yeah, this is...
coffee here, right? Right? It is. It's coffee. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> One second. Before I go, welcome Cure to the participant membership. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate that. Okay, now I go. Pretty fast, right? Me like racing back here. And I remembered the tuning forks. I'm, I'm really proud of my mission. Thank you. Oh, the welcome back. Love that. It's so cute. Thank you guys. All right. <coughs> Are you ready for me to not talk for a little bit? <laughs> I am just like a little bit tipsy. Just a little bit. This one is really high. It's like a little too high for me. I don't know. I don't find it as relaxing. three months. Also welcome to by S. Tobias. Enjoy to have as much care and concentration as I could possibly have. Ooh, I do have a singing bowl.
That's the singing bowl. <laughs> Bebo Wilson. <laughs> Welcome, Bebo. Okay, great. Nice. Cool. Awesome. Love that. Love, love that. <laughs> Every time that happens where I drop something and I can't grab it in time and I just have to let it crash and burn. Why is my nose so big? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it's not very nice to say stuff like that. You're fine. You're a good nose. You're just big enough. You can smell everything. <laughs> yeah, for more oxygen for my big brain. Because <laughs> I'm a most smart girl. That's what my mom always said. <laughs> I can't believe you think I have a big nose. <laughs> it's fine. Do you want to know something, actually? Do you, do you want to nose something? <laughs> um... <laughs> Boops your nose. Love that. <laughs> I actually did want to get a nose job when I was younger. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa, guy. Thank you for the $50 donation. I appreciate that. Viddy? <laughs> Viddy Should we finish this? I know you want me to. You know I want me to. <laughs> Down the hatch. <laughs> if you've seen that video, you know why. That's, that's so funny. Down the hatch! <coughs> I swear all the booze always settles at the bottom. I'm so sorry. What am I drinking? I'll give you my recipe. One shot of this. Or if you're freaking silly like me, an unmeasured amount of this in the bottom of your glass. Some of this. And then you're gonna fill up most of your glass with this. Or any brand of your choosing. It doesn't have to be this. We're not sponsoring. Okay, just a beer. Whiskey. Bourbon whiskey. Rip beer. Oh. And then top it all off. All this. Mix it all around. There you go. Delicious. A little strong this time, but delicious if you make it correctly. If you if you don't make it strong, it just tastes like root beer, and like a it tastes like a cream soda. But these two together it tastes like a cream soda, and then with the whiskey, I mean, it's just like a little bit stronger. Sometimes I forget these headphones are a little big on me and they're not even like all the way on my ears so if I press them in I can like actually hear everything and the music sounds so good.
some waves crashing in the distance. I don't know if you guys ever hear that. It's like... It's really nice. Yup. Someone give Cherie her keys. Huh? I think you should be maybe taking my keys away from me right now, actually. PLN50. Marek, another cheer. Thank you. Oh my god, have we been live for three hours? Oh my god, okay. Hold on, I need to restart the music. you name your German puppy? German Shepherd? Hmm. Do you have any do you have any photos? Let me let me pull up some inspo. Short haired German Shepherd. Oh my god, the little baby. Look at little baby. Look at him! Oh, that's a nice baby! Look at that! That's how I talk to animals. <laughs> oh, little baby, look at him! And then the dogs are like, hmm? What? Hmm? I want to make you a baby. <laughs> I love dogs. Love cats. Love all animals. Don't discriminate. I don't. Oh, it's long hair and tired. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, long hair. The way I specifically looked up a short haired one. Oh, oh wow. Oh my. This is a very majestic baby. Very majestic. Um, see, this just looks like a lassie to me. Like, lassie? Oh, <laughs> that's what I would name this dog. Um, you can name her like Annabelle and then be like Belle or like Annie. I don't know. <laughs> Mango lassie. Great drink. Phenomenal drink. I love that you said that. Oh, and the baby elephants. We could definitely take a look at those. Um, like, okay. What do you call this little guy? Who Who is this? Who is this nice baby? Orlando Bloom. A Rufus? Oh. <gasps> what about this one? This guy looks very majestic. This is like Simba. He named this dog Simba. Or like <gasps> Zeus. Oh my god. Mufasa. <laughs> That's my boy Maximilian. <laughs> Merlin. Oh, that's a nice one. Lassie is a Sheltie. It doesn't matter. You can name any dog any name. Jesus. No. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Simba is a very common dog name, that's true. Lassie was a collie, okay. Timon. The Growler. Chico, that's cute. I like that, Chico. Oh my 
You guys, your usernames sometimes. I I forget I have foreign friends out here because I wanna as a joke be like, is that even English? But you know what? It it might not be. <laughs> it could totally not be English. Peace, friends. I love that you spelled it exactly the same. <laughs> Peace, Kiva, you're funny. Were you just like creeping in the chat and you're like, hey, this person's username is similar to mine. <laughs> I love that. No, great. Yo. I'm about ready to make another cocktail, you guys. This is crazy. I already had an existential, I don't want to call it a crisis, it was like the, op the opposite. What is the opposite of an existential crisis? An existential revelation? Like, what is? The, what would you say the opposite of an existential crisis is? What's the opposite of a crisis? Yo, long time no see, welcome back, hello. Well, I had an existential revelation, we'll call it, an existential non-crisis, when I was just in the bathroom, going pee, thinking about the fact that I'm getting tipsy publicly online, <laughs> and I was like, oh my, what a world that I live in. Sometimes I really just have to sit back and think about the reality. Like, okay, can we all just take a moment to acknowledge I'm not physically with any of you right now. And we're still, like, talking in real time. Okay, that alone is incredible. And then the fact that I'm able to engage with and have individual conversations with so many of you. Another thing. Crazy. Okay, then we add on the fact that you guys are all over the world. Okay. Like... <laughs> I get to sit in the comfort of my own apartment click a button a, a few buttons obviously I have to do these buttons and then these buttons and you know a couple of these but regardless the end result is me being able to connect with so many people from so many places all at once and then I have the freedom to talk about pretty much anything That's insane. Like, wow. So I just want to take a moment to say <laughs> to anyone listening, I am so grateful to be part of the 21st century because as freaking terrible as it has been to be here right now in life, to be alive for these last 25 years, it's been it's been a roller coaster of events, but the dawn of technology, the dawn of the internet, it's been pretty crazy. It's been a pretty a wild thing to behold and be a part of. And like, how cool is it that here we are right now experiencing it? No one else in our past as humans has ever had the opportunity to do this like I am right now. Granted, like 10 years ago, you know, it was like similar, but still. Are you kidding me? It's just, I think it's crazy. 
I think it's crazy and super cool. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to take a moment because, like, it's wild. Is it not? Like, thanks for being here. Thanks for getting on your little technology and logging in to your account on YouTube or Twitch, these giant platforms that host so many different types of content, it's insane. And you were able to find me in that giant ocean of different thumbnails and live streams. Hey, you landed on mine. That's so cool. Thanks for being here with me. I like can't even believe. I love it. I just think it's so cool. So, hi. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Group hug. Group hug. Oh, big hug. You're the best. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. I think that's what I realized is like there are so many places that I could be physically right now, but wherever I was physically, I would want to be able to virtually share it with you. And that's what I was thinking about is like, there's just no way that I could connect with as many people as I have over the internet, you know, in real life. Like I would have to be hosting seminars or like, I don't know, going on like countrywide tours to reach this many people at one time and all I have to do is just click go live it's crazy so many Aussies I've always wanted to go to Australia so maybe I'll have to plan a visit soon hooray I created an account just so I could say hello to you <laughs> that's so nice and hello. Isn't that cool? That you could say hello and here I am to be like, hello, back to you? Like, what? <laughs> I just think it's so cool. You're streaming to me in my tractor in Wales, growing the barley that is used in the Baileys you're drinking. What? <laughs> no way. Is this from Wales? That's not what it says on the bottle. It says it's imported. Just kidding. Imported by Paddington? Isn't Paddington like a Paddington Bear or something different. Paddington Limited, New York, New York. I know I'm like the bear. <laughs> what? The Welsh grow the barley, and the Irish make it into baileys. Wow. This is exactly what I'm talking about. When, ever, in history would I be able to pull out a product like this and, you know, just so happen to be in the same space as someone who is in the direct manufacturing process of this imported product. Imported. Imported by a state that's art. This is like a thousand miles away from me. I'm nowhere near New York. <laughs> nowhere even close to New York. And I'm like, what? It's just, it's so cool. It's cool. I think it's cool.
fun trigger word to say. Ruben, thank you very much for the super chat. One of the other ones. Questions to share memories. And then we have this one. Food and drink trivia. Okay, let me... Let me give you a couple examples. Example of this. And you know what? I've actually I've never even opened this one. I've never played this. It says, go back in time with friends and family. Simply draw a card and read it out loud. Everyone takes turns sharing their memories and stories. Do you remember when you felt happiest? you've ever been. Okay, so these are good. Okay, these are pretty, like, I think very well-rounded questions that will be applicable to pretty much everyone. Sorry. Or
is there something that you would like to change about yourself? What was the best part of your day so far? What do you love about your hometown? It's like very similar theme. You know, just like general questions. I thought it could be fun to ask some and then you guys can each answer and I will also answer, of course. Um, and then last but not least, food trivia. Which herb flavors Bernays sauce? Tarragon, sage, or dill? And then the correct answer is tarragon. So this one is more like a trivia. Like there's a right and a wrong answer. These ones are just like open-ended. There's no right or wrong answer. What do you think? Let's just do a couple from each then. Are you ready? We're gonna shuffle them. Hi, Frisco Crass. Happy eight months. I dropped one. What are you too hard on yourself for? Like, what do you give yourself a hard time for, for no reason? What are you too hard on yourself for? Um, I would say for me, let me think about this. Hmm. How much time you got? <laughs> I know that's kind of a hard one. Let's do a different one. Next. Ooh, this is a good one. If a movie was made about your life, what celebrity would play you? If a movie was made about your life, which celebrity would play you? Hmm. I think for me, just based on look-alike status I would say Elizabeth Olsen <laughs> or even somebody like Peyton List I feel like could do a really good job but yeah Elizabeth Olsen I think is mine or Natalia Dyer I guess those are mine what do you guys think <laughs> Danny DeVito good answer good answer Jack Black, Josh Dunham, I haven't heard the name in forever, that's the ventriloquist, right? Diary of a Wimpy Kid, okay, interesting. What about Jennifer Aniston? I just feel like, I mean, <laughs> no offense to Jay, 
I just feel like she's a little old and I'm I'm not that old yet, so how would she play a younger version of me when she's older than I am, you know? Speaking of old, what are you most looking forward to about getting old? Retiring. Not working anymore. That's what I'm most looking forward to. Yeah, <laughs> retirement. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to... Oh, this is gonna sound awful. But it's real. And maybe some of you guys will relate. Who knows? So after my grandpa passed in October, I started realizing how, like, relieving that actually feels. It's obviously like a never-ending source of sadness but at the same time when I was living overseas in Hawaii I was constantly worried about like not being there if something happened to my grandparents like not being able to fly back fast enough and I have always wanted to travel for an extended amount of time and so I think I am excited to be old and like I'm the person that people are worried about not being there for because like <laughs> then I will have no guilt when I'm traveling I won't be like oh no like what if so and so passes away and I'm not there like I will be older than all those people and I will have outlived them at that point <laughs> I know that's really morbid and terrible but I'm excited to feel guilt free about my like travel decisions <laughs> And timeline and schedule. I try to do that regardless because we all only get one life, but like we also only get so many grandparents and parents and just like loved ones that are elderly and they're gonna pass. So yeah. death is just when the dying process ends. So you're saying life is just the, the death process? <laughs> life is dying? I suppose you're not wrong. Yeah, that's how I feel, I guess. What trip most affected your life so what trip most affected your life so far? I would say for me, going to San Francisco when I was 18, I went with a friend of mine. I had never traveled without like parents or adult chaperones, so that was my first time traveling by myself and I think it really gave me a taste of freedom and also like a sense of individuality and just like feeling like I was my own person and not like an extension of my parents story um so yeah that was the first time I really felt like autonomy as an adult a young adult, very young adult. And I got really inspired to travel after that. So I would say that's the trip that's been very impactful for me. A lot of people are saying acid and like shrooms. I'm not sure if that's what they meant by that, but I, I count that. That classifies for me as a trip, for sure. If you dropped everything and went on a road trip, where would you go? Well, okay, if I could road trip <laughs> across the ocean, I would love to road trip in Europe instead of the United States. Like, I would love to do a road trip around Europe instead. I agree, autonomy is necessary and good. I agree completely. Mm -hmm. 
I want to go to like Scotland, um, Iceland, where else? Norway, Denmark. Is Denmark a part of Norway? No, it's a country. That's what I thought. It's a Scandinavian country compromising a Rutland peninsula and numerous islands. It's linked to the nearby Sweden via the or Orsund Bridge. Copenhagen is its capital and it is home to the royal palaces and colourful Nyavin Harbour plus the Tivoli Tivoli amusement park and the iconic Little Mermaid statue. Interesting. That's a really insightful Google search. Oh. Oh. Whoa. European geography is kind of crazy. Norway, Sweden, Finland. Wait, so Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark are all Scandinavia, right? Is that how that works? Cool. Iceland as well. So interesting. I really need to come to Europe. Gosh, just so cool. Like, I feel like I'm meant to live the first part of my life here in the United States, but I honestly feel like I, I feel like the rest of my life is supposed to be in Europe. Like, I feel like I'm, like, away from my homeland. It's crazy. Most of my ancestry is Scandinavian, and I live in a very cold, wintry place still, so I'm like, I might as well just go back to where I'm from, <laughs> where my family's from. It's part of the culture. The homeland is calling. It's so true. Alright, next question. Let's go from this one. in the new cards. Oops. Ready? Listen to this. This is multiple cards. Crazy. They're so stuck. But I love it. It's so satisfying. one's really stuck. Glass. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Very crunchy. I agree. Very, very crunchy. Glasgow, Scotland. The necropolis above St. Mungo's Cathedral at dawn. Most beautiful place I've ever seen. Highly recommend. P.S. Twin Peaks ASMR? I've never actually seen Twin Peaks. This is so satisfying. I love it. in a video but it's pretty much the same thing to do it on the live stream mm. Island of V Cr 
Croatia. I've always wanted to go to Croatia. There's so many places I've always wanted to go just because I hear people from them on the stream. And like, I just get so curious about what life is like for people on the other side of the planet, you know? Like, I'm sure people who are not from the United States are super curious what it's like here, because we're always going through some drama, I feel like. But then I look at other countries, and you know what? They're going through drama, too. So, I think the world is just filled with drama right now. Okay, this is a good one. This one just fell out of the pile. <laughs> Do you remember if you had a weekly allowance and how much was it? What did you spend it on? I have another bonus question in there. I used to get a weekly allowance <laughs> that was as much as my age. So I would get like six dollars every week when I was six, seven dollars when I was seven, eight dollars when I was eight, and I would usually bulk batch everything. So I would save it all, and then I would spend it on a big ticket item, or you know what I used to always use my money on? <laughs> Do you remember when Taco Bell used to have the coin machines and there would be those giant stickers? There were so many stickers at Taco Bell back in the day. That's what I used to spend my money on. I'd go to Taco Bell and I would get stickers. Hopefully someone else remembers that era. The Taco Bell stickers. <laughs> so gambling. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. Yes, they were amazing. I wish I had saved my stickers because there used to be like yin and yang and like just like peace signs and like a bunch of just cool stuff. I loved those. I thought they were so cool. Okay, next question. Do you remember the most regrettable hairstyle? Or your most cringe-worthy outfit. A twinge of cringe. Anyone who watches Chad Chad <laughs> will recognize that one. I saved my movie tickets. That's cute. You have a yin and yang tattoo. Nice. You currently have your most regrettable hairstyle. Mm, what is my most regrettable hairstyle? I don't know. I used to have hair that was like this short when I was a kid. I think really, really, really short hair. Even shorter than this, honestly. It was really short. <laughs> it, it, did, it didn't look that great. I had like a mullet as a kid when I was like really little. Because I had a lot of hair in the first place. But obviously when your hair is just like growing crazy, it doesn't look that good. So my mom started getting me haircuts and like there wasn't too much to work with. So they just gave me a mullet. That's what they did. But then after it started growing, I never really had short hair. Like ever. Like I always preferred longer hair. At least to like here. Which isn't super long, but it's definitely not like I never got like a bob or like anything really short. I was never into that for myself. Alright, next question. Ooh, this is a good one. Do you remember what posters you hung on your bedroom walls when you were in high school? I never really had posters in high school, but <laughs> in middle school, 
and elementary school, I used to take the posters that would come in like Tiger Beat, those magazines. And they were of like the Jonas Brothers and Demi Lovato and Miley Cyrus and like Hannah Montana, that entire era. Obviously we both, we all know that that's the same person as Miley Cyrus. I don't know. Yeah, I used to just use like Tiger Beat posters, Zac Efron for sure. Um, yeah, I had those, Justin Bieber for sure. I had those for maybe like a year, <laughs> then I took them down because I thought they were dumb, which they were, they were dumb, but that's okay. I'm going to go on my Facebook and see if I can find any photos of me posters in the background. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You know what? Now that I'm looking at these, I think I would just hang, like, anything on my wall. Like, I have, like, paint swatches. I have pictures from, like, Nat Geo. I have random posters. Like, I think I just wanted my walls to be covered. Here's me being really weird. found my childhood stuffed animal, but as you can see, my walls are like pretty covered with stuff. There's some paint swatches over here. <laughs> These are just like random. Whatever I could find in magazines, I would put on the wall. I just wanted my wall to have stuff on it. I just thought it looked cool. I'd always freak out if a magazine came with a free poster. I mean, how could you not freak out? It's like the best day ever. Mm, okay, let me see. pictures of my wall. That was the best one, honestly. <laughs> okay, you can kind of see in this one. God, I look so different. Here's like half of my face <laughs> as a kid. Like you can see it. I think these are like some birds or just like a flower. Like, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't, I really don't even know what, what all of that is. But here's me as a little teenager. <laughs> so little. This is when I wanted to get a nose job, which I do really think I grew in to my nose. It, it did used to be a, a lot bigger proportionally on my face. I don't know how that happened, but puberty, puberty did me really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so crazy to see these old pics. Here's me with braces. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, my phone is destroyed. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my goodness baby. Yep, this is my glow up. <laughs> I 
Like I said, I didn't always used to be wifey material. <laughs> oh goodness. Happy Easter. Oh my god, it's so weird to look at those. <laughs> it's like some Princess Diaries transformation. Honestly, it is. You're right. <laughs> You are right. Alright, let's do one more. One more question. Do you remember your first concert? Mine was Justin Bieber. We had to drive to Omaha, Nebraska to go see him. Because the tickets in my local area were sold out. So we went to Omaha, Nebraska and that was my first concert and I brought one of my really good friends and one of my core memories of that trip has nothing to do with the concert we were at this restaurant and my parents were very strict about not serving yourself more than what you think you're gonna eat like, I was definitely an eyes are bigger than my stomach type of kid. You know what I mean? Like, I would always serve myself a huge plate of food, and then I would just eat none of it. Like, barely anything. So, we went to a buffet with my friend and, like, my entire family. And I remember thinking, like, okay, I can't serve myself more than I'm going to eat, or else they're going to get mad at me. So I served myself, it was a pasta bar, I served myself some pasta, got a breadstick, and I ate my entire plate clean. I was so proud of myself, like I didn't over serve, but you know who did? My friend. My friend had so much food left on her plate, and... I remember looking at her plate and being like, ooh, like, she's gonna get in trouble, my parents are gonna say something. And I remember, you know, my mom is kind of like, are you done? She's like, yeah, I'm done. And I'm waiting for it. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> they're gonna yell at her. My mom's like, okay. Takes her plate, like, busses her dish. And I'm like, huh? You're not going to yell at her for serving herself too much food. You're not going to tell her that she's wasting and that we're too broke to be doing that. So I got pissed. I turned to my mom and I was like, um, did you not see how much food was on her plate? What about the waste? Like, doesn't she have to at least take it home and eat it later? That's her dinner tomorrow. What the heck? Why do I have all these rules? And then as soon as my friend's here, doesn't matter. Like, I was pissed. I was so mad. And like, that's what I remember about that trip, is like getting so mad at the hypocrisy of my family. Which obviously now I look back on it, and of course, like, my parents were just trying to instill good values into me. Like, they were trying to instill a sense of like humility and not being like entitled and wasteful which I now appreciate but I was just so confused I was like what? What? if I would have done this I would have never heard the end of it and you're just like oh it's fine that's fine just throw it away like okay then <laughs> me and that girl are still friends to this day so that's good but yeah, I just really thought that they were rude for that, and I, like, had a hard time <laughs> trusting my parents' point of view and believing them for a little bit, because I just was like, yeah, well, what about, what about the buffet, huh? <laughs> what was that? Long story short, that's how my first concert went. <laughs> 
it was crazy but we did see justin and it was you know it was an experience and then like two months later i denounced him and my dad got me a life-size cutout of justin bieber that year for christmas and i got so mad and i was like dad i told you i don't like him anymore and he was just laughing and he's like i got it as a joke and i was just like you spent your hard-earned cash on this gag gift that probably costed at least $45, and you could have spent that on something I would have actually liked. <sighs> Which, of course, he had a gift receipt, he returned it, whatever, but like... <laughs> I got so pissed. There was like a five-foot-tall Justin Bieber in my house, and I hated him at that point. Like, it was just... <laughs> it's so crazy. Of course, dinner wasn't more memorable than the concert. I just distinctly remember that part of the trip. Because my friend and I, if we would ever get in, like, a quarrel, we would just go separate and, like, go back to our own house and then reconvene later. But we were on a trip, and, like, I couldn't leave and she couldn't leave. So I just remember it being, like, really awkward for a little bit between us on the last part of the trip because of that because I was pissed at my family and then I was therefore like mad at her for not getting in trouble but I also like wasn't mad at her I was mad at my family but she was just like part of the equation it was super awkward for her I'm sure and honestly next time I see her I need to apologize for that because that was not okay even though I was like 11 and I didn't know still still those were fun questions it was enjoyable. Thank you for indulging me on that. I've been live for over four hours now. That's pretty crazy. Definitely one of my longest streams lately. Um, last one. You want to do one more? All right, let's do one more. What situations caused a lot of stress for you over the years, and how did that affect you? <laughs> I feel like I was just talking about that, but situations that stressed me out <laughs> were my parents being hip hypocritical when it came to other people and children, <laughs> and I think it affected me by trying to treat everyone the same always, and like not playing favorites and just trying to stick with morals and principles that carry through no matter what the circumstance. Vanilinka, happy raid. Thank you for being here. Welcome, all 36 of you. Thank you for being here. I hope I said your username correctly. Welcome, raiders. Time does pass quickly. It's insane. Vani. I don't know. Hopefully I said it right. That's the only way I can think of pronouncing it. Huh? What? No way. Ah, peacekeeper, that's nice. No, I'm not Russian. I mean, not really. I'm sure. Excuse me. I'm sure I have a little bit of Russian in me, but not enough for me to identify as Russian. I'm like, you know, the white person definition of Russian, where I have like 3% <laughs> or something like that. Bling. the way that the ice is melting 
into a brand new drink. That's perfect. It tastes so bad. Yuck. Watered down cocktail? Ew. Normal water? Amazing. Any plans on doing a tarot reading stream soon? Yeah. Let's do one on Friday. Friday could be fun. A straw is taller than me, right? It's a long straw. Give us another question, will you? Oh, all right, if you insist. Do you remember the best advice you've ever received and I would love to do a poem reading. Wait, do you want to hear one of my poems that I've read? Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> Written? <laughs> Some of the best advice I've ever received. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Someone told me that when I was dating a really abusive guy as a teenager, and it definitely helped. Ooh. Nice, you got some KFC. Sounds good. Um, yes to the poem. Okay, let me find it. I have a couple. Okay, just kidding. By a couple, I meant a single, a singular one. It's a little bit long. I wrote it in like 2020, so four years ago. Want to hear it? It's called Ancestors. <laughs> I have poems from a lot longer ago that I honestly think are a lot better, but this is, this is okay. Okay, ready? Like I said, it's called Ancestor. You know, I'm, I'm actually reading <laughs> something. All right, ready? I'm not going to perform. I'm, I'm just going to read it for you. This isn't going to be like a good slam poetry type of thing. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to read it. Here we go. I'm nervous. Feel the strength of your ancestors. As the wind brushes the strands of your hair across your face, one of the many signs of your very own unique DNA. Feel the strength of your ancestors. As the sun beams down upon your skin, creating sweat beads, one of the many signs that you are human. Feel the strength of your ancestors. As your heart fills and overflows with emotion, creating discord and harmony, one 
one of the many signs that you are aligned with Source. Feel the strength of your ancestors, for they are with you in every gust of wind, in every ray of sun, in every ounce of pain and joy. You are strong, for you are your ancestors. Feel the strength of your kin as the storm pushes against your stride, causing an already strenuous walk to test your stamina. Feel the strength of your kin as the boiling heat of each desert day causes you to search desperately for a single drop of water. Feel the strength of your kin as you fight your oppressors, causing consequences in varying degrees of severity death as punishment for human rights. Feel the strength of your kin for your wounds in every journey, on every terrain, during every trial you face. Your strength will carry on, for you are your kin, and for you are your ancestors. The end. Hopefully you liked it. <laughs> if you got the order of things but to break to break it down like we do in English class the wind brushes the strands of your hair across your face sun beams down upon your skin creating sweat beads your heart fills and overflows with emotion every gust of wind ray of sun ounce of joy and pain okay it's like the first three stanzas, right? And then in this one, we have a storm pushing against your stride, the wind. Boiling heat of each day, the sun. Fighting your oppressors, that's your emotion. You got it? It's like the same order of things, but it's written differently. I was really proud of this poem when I first wrote it. <laughs> Now I'm like, yeah, I could write it better, but I love writing poetry too. I've always loved poetry. It's one of my favorite things to write. I'd love to share more. How much longer will I be streaming for? Probably not too long. Not too much longer. Like 15 minutes, maybe a little less. Poetry professor, professor, <laughs> poetry professor says poems should be rewritten a few times. I can agree with that. Just because what if you come across better vocabulary words in the meantime? You never know. You. Thank you guys. Really appreciate that. I wish I had more of my poems on hand. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Centropia. I would love to hear them. What makes you nervous? <laughs> this is a good follow up question. What makes me nervous is being vulnerable in front of other people. Because the majority of them might be like outwardly saying, it's awesome. But then there's the silent judges that are like, this girl sucks. This poem reeks. It's tough. It's tough to put yourself out there in the world.
there's also silent enjoyers like me. Good point. I like that. I like that point. Thank you for making that. What a pointy point. So sharp. <laughs> wow. Sharp point. Four hours flew by, totally agree. You like my nails? Thank you, I just did them recently. I like these two the best. I feel like they have a good shape. I feel like these are kind of wide at the top. They go like out to the side. And these ones are very like straight. This one, this is my favorite one. <laughs> best nail. Um, I don't know, yeah, I'm, I'm working on them. I'm trying to gradually make them better. So thanks for noticing. Nail tech roleplay. Oh goodness. I feel like uh, it's hard to do a role plays like that because I want to be inclusive of skin color. So I would have to have like a glove, like a random colored glove, like blue. Like I don't know, like dye my hands purple. <laughs> Just like <laughs> a random color. You know what I mean? Like, I want it to be inclusive. I don't want anyone to watch it and be like, oh, like, I don't have white hands. <laughs> like, what the hell? I always think about that. Because, like, I'll do, I'll do hair cutting videos and people are like, I'm bald. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Leave. This is clearly not the video for you. It's not. But at the same time, I get it. I do want to make things general and inclusive. So that's, I, I have to think about stuff like that. Last stream, my nails were square. What? No, they were not. They just had French tips. I haven't changed the shape. I do not hate bald people. Stop. <laughs> You're twisting my words. You're twisting them around. I want to do them like a nice, like, sparkly color. I think I'm going to do sparkles next. Maybe on Friday I'll have new nails. We'll see. We'll see. Do you guys want to watch me spin in my chair? <laughs> like a child? Even if you said no, I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> it's not that good of a spinning chair because the wheels are all separate. They're not like in a clump in the middle and the chair just spins around that. It didn't work very good. having a hard time but it, it's still kind of fun I will say it's still pretty fun Somebody just woke up from a nap. Good morning. Good morning. That's a nice boy. That's good. He's sleepy. He's so sleepy. Oh, he's sleepy. Oh. 
He's like, mother, please. I was headed to the food bowl. Mother, please. <laughs> oh, come say hi. Come here. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you go. And now you go. Everybody was sleeping, and now we're all awake. Good morning. You love it. You love the kisses, don't you? You're good. You're good. Nice, nice. No, nice, nice. I love you. I love you. Okay, go on. The fluffy. So fluffy. The fluffiest little girl. I love her and Manny. They're both great. Both very good babies. That was adorable. I love them. Oh, yeah. I would love to see Eli. <laughs> Cat is bigger than me. They are pretty big, I will say. I do have some rather large felines. How old are my cats? One is five and one is four. The fluffier one is Kiwi, K-I-W-I, -I, Kiwi, and then Mr. Man is the other one. Mr. Man has a white arm. Kiwi doesn't have any white. Mr. Man's like whole belly is white and then he's got a white arm. And then his other, it's like a tattoo sleeve. I always say he's got a sleeve. So cute. I love them. I'm glad they're awake. They're hungry. Came to eat some food, eat some lunch. I need to eat some lunch too, honestly. This was a really fun stream though. I did a lot more than I was anticipating to. Unsurprisingly, which, you know what? It's been about an hour and a half since I went last time. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like clockwork. Every hour and a half, I have to be. It's just, it's just how it goes. <sighs> Alright, friends. Listen up. I need you to do something for me. All of you. I need all of you to do this at the same time. Hey, if you had a fun time today, there's, here's what I need you to do. I need you, if you're on Twitch, to type in the chat, exclamation point, watch. If you're on YouTube, I want you to click on this link. Okay, I want you to open, I want you to open that video whoa <laughs> open that video in a new tab click pause okay and here's what i want you to do this is this is the kicker okay especially if you're gonna go to sleep open that video go to the little settings on the corner okay where you can like adjust the playback and like all that stuff and then wait what maybe you can't do it right there i don't know how you do that actually i swear there's a way to loop the video yes no oh wait autoplay is off I'm so confused. I could have sworn you could loop videos. Well, if you can figure out how to <gasps> loop the video and just like let it play. 
oh if you right click i see i see okay well loop the video in a separate tab just let it just let it keep playing okay click like leave a comment you know why because it really helps boost the video and the algorithm to not only new people but to my actual subscribers who just don't get it on their feed because youtube just does that it just just doesn't show my video to the people who are already subscribed it's really weird but anyway it will really help me if you do that even if you're not actually watching it if it's in a separate tab and it's playing it's, it's almost good enough so if you could do that Have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, night, midnight, dark hour, dawn, dusk, twilight, wherever you are on the earth. Thank you for being here for four and a half hours. One of my longest streams. Appreciate you. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I'm leaving! Oh my gosh! <clears throat> Thank you for that. That was insane. Like... Who even was that? Sorry if it was he. France. <gasps> Manny! Go up there! Go on! Jump! Go, Manny! Three, two, one! <gasps> so cute! Are you gonna go up there too? Hi, nice little girl! Merrick, you guys. What the heck? I see that. If I'd known that this was going to happen, I would have said goodbye way earlier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like. Stop. So do you want me to leave or not? Because it does not seem... You, you misclicked, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a hard time believing that was a complete accident. You guys, you're crazy. I really need to pee. That's part of why I was going to leave. And also because it's been four and a half hours that I've been here. But I'm not opposed to staying. I just need to like do a little reset. Like I need to like pee. Yeah, maybe make another one of these. I need to eat something. Like... <laughs> but I was I, I woke up this morning at like 10 a.m. and I was like all I'm gonna do today is stream That's, I'm just gonna get on as early as I possibly can be ready which was 11.30 so not too bad I woke up at 10 it took me an hour and a half to get everything ready the title does not say 12 hours <laughs> but I was like I'm just gonna stream all day why not like oh oh that's so nice i don't know why my 
it sounded like it was gonna come out like that so i just really like leaned into the weirdness but golden threads that's really nice of you and like I like that I can feel that you're also spiritual. It makes me happy. Like I can just tell, I can just tell that you're a good, you're a good person with good vibes, and I love that. So thank you for being here. I definitely notice you, and like the brightness that you have. And I'm not just saying that. It's it's true. <laughs> thank you. Oh oh, I want to make it brighter. There we go pretend it's not dark already. Oh, Kiwi, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. She's just sitting. She's just like... Just licking her lips. What are you doing? What's up? Can you come over here? Or are you going to go sit with Nanny in the chair? <laughs> Him just loafed. Full loaf back there. <laughs> the baby. Okay, well, I'm gonna go pee, I guess. You've convinced me I'll stay for a little longer. I'm gonna go pee for my <laughs> next hour and a half of not needing to pee. And we'll see. I definitely will need more moderators for a 24 hour stream, you're right. <gasps> Maybe I'll just mute myself this time and I'll leave you with the cats. Instead of saying I'm gonna be right back. Little Miss Kiwi's here. Little Miss Kiwi. Little Miss Baby. There she is. You're facing the wrong way. The audience is over here. They can't even see your pretty face. Um, hello. Look this way. Go show them how pretty you are. Show them. You're beautiful. Oh, are you rubbing a chair? That's nice. Oh my. 
That's a good girl. Are you going to take my spot, though? Can I sit back down, please? Ready? Quite literally. Perfection. That's so cute. I hope she stays up there. Alright, well I went pee. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling like I can't believe I've been here for over four and a half hours. Thank you. The new leaf is big. I'm happy about it. Everyone take a moment to stretch. Totally. Do you want me to lead you in a stretch? A little guided stretch? Sorry about that squeak. Can you hear? You ready? All right. We're gonna start by fixing your posture. So I want you to roll your shoulders up, like squeeze them up, roll them back, press them down. So up, back, and down, okay? Up, back, and down should have a nice open chest. You're trying to squeeze your scapula, your shoulder blades together. Okay, we're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take our neck, we're gonna tilt it. Down, straight down to the center. And then you're gonna reach it up, but also coming back and slowly back to center okay so as you're crunching down and back i want you to think your head is lifting up and out of the socket coming back lifting up and out of the socket and coming back okay ready five six seven eight you go down and center Center one more time and down. Center and back. Good, we're gonna go left and right. So tilt and center. Remember you're lifting up to go over and center. You can gently use your hand. Gently, gently, gently. This arm can push down away from you so you're flexing your hand pushing it towards the floor push 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 switch push keeping your neck tilted nice and straight so you're not leaning it forward not leaning it back it's nice and straight right straight axis pushing this arm away getting a nice stretch right here good okay shoulders are still down and back you're gonna come with your elbows first. 
feeding your elbows forward. Okay, so your shoulders are gonna tilt in. And you're gonna roll them up and back, just like we just did. Okay, rolling through your shoulders. Big stretch. As you come here, I want you to arch your back a little bit. Okay, and then you're gonna contract it in. Arch, contract, arch. Okay, we're gonna add some bigger arms. So full swing, down, big swing, down, and up, down. Okay, we're gonna reverse it with our elbows. So we're back, push them forward, and back, forward, back. Good, and big arms. Don't forget to breathe. Good, reaching your arms nice and wide to the side. You're gonna take one arm in front of you, like this. The other arm is gonna stretch down, hook, pull. Okay, we're pulling right here, back of our shoulder. You're also going to feel right here in your clavicle a stretch, pulling. Good, and gently bring that same arm up and over. Okay, like this. Don't hunch those, stay up. Okay, you're going to grab this. Let me get a little, a little lower so you can see. So we're here. You're going to grab this. You're gonna pull behind your head. We're stretching all the way up here. Pull. Okay? Go as far as you can. I have pretty flexible shoulders. If you want, you can lean into it. Okay? Again, arm comes forward. This one comes up. Pull. Okay? Nice stretch right here and back here. And this one comes up and over. Grab your elbow and pull. Leaning into it if you need to. Good, stretch your arms up. If you would like to, I would recommend standing up for this one. So arms go up. Hi. <laughs> And you're just going to bend straight over, touch your toes. Go down as far as you can, touch your toes. Oh, you're going to do it with me? Thank you, Manny. You're going to touch your toes? Okay, then you can do one where you push your hips forward. Okay, take your hands, put them here, push, gently lean back. Just like that. <laughs> I mean, be gentle with yourself, obviously. But, eh. That's my basic stretch routine. You can obviously roll your wrists. You can Gently tilt your head again and then do a full roll through like this. So forward, side, back, and to the side. But remember, don't crunch, lift up and back, right? So if you can see, there's still a lot of space right here versus if I was just like, mm, right? You want to be up and tall or else you're going to kink your nerves and you're going to have more pain than you started with. So lifting up to go back, staying lifted, so pushing these down as this is lifting all the way around. Good. Same thing with your shoulders, pushing them down as you're rolling. 
Is it bad that I hear cracking when I rotate my neck? No. It's like dusting the cobwebs off of your muscles. It's definitely good for you. I'm trying to think of any other stretches I could have you do. Um, if you have lower back pain, I know this is going to seem silly, but try doing pelvic circles. So like like this okay I know it seems silly but hear me out okay hinging forward is using your lower back and your abs okay this arch is the opposite you're contracting your back and then you're pushing it forward like pew if that makes sense. So when you go in a circle, your spine is getting a full... <laughs> That's what I thought of too with Spongebob. Bring it around town. But seriously, it feels really good to move your lower pelvis like that. Because it basically, if you think about it, your spine is like going into your hips. And it's just kind of loosening that joint where it meets right here you know what i mean motion is lotion that's all i gotta say <sighs> thanks for that that felt really good i love stretching also just basic like twists twists are really good anything like that highly recommend Nice try, but I'm not grinding on my chair. All right. You got me. <laughs> huh? You pulled something? No, you guys. Careful hurt yourself i have like a very extensive set of stretches like lunges and whatever did you learn all these stretches in ballet no they're more of like the general warm-up for like jazz or lyrical ballet is a lot more technical <laughs> a lot more serious of a warm-up and stretch make a stretching video mm, we'll see but yes, there is a lot of this in yoga. And like, yeah, just generally speaking, that's how I warm up for dance or how I warm up my students for class. Would love to have your flexible shoulders, minor. Sorry to hear that. I will say it's taken me a while to have such flexible shoulders. It wasn't always like that, so... Don't feel bad. Just keep moving them. Move them around. Move the sockets, right? It's like a ball joint socket, so you gotta move it around. If you don't want it to be tense and tight in there. Any stretches for your ankles? Yes. Same thing as your wrist. Rolling them around. Going from here. Turning out. Pointing your toes. Bringing them back in. Flexing your feet. Turning them out pointing, turning in, then you go the opposite, <laughs> opposite, turn out, flex your feet, here, push them down, turn them out, that's what I do with my students, I'm not going to do it for you because I know you're trying to look at my feet, you weirdo, nice, you got a little hip crack, good for you. Um, you can also take your foot and like push like this, push down on your arch. You can like grab your toes and pull your foot this way. You know what I mean? Let me see if I can crack my toes.
not that bad. <laughs> Let me see if I can get my back. This one's always good. Ready? We have had a lot. <laughs> We've had a lot going on today. Ooh, whoa, crazy. I'm always scared to do this one because it's like you could literally break your neck. But that's how I get another loud crack is going like But someone told me you can actually like kill yourself by doing that, so un un unalive. Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> Someone told me I could also trigger a stroke somehow. See? It just doesn't sound like it's worth it. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Someone made a gif of me spinning on my chair. little screenshots you guys sent. They're so nice. So cute. Alright, pals. Listen up. It, it's been that time, but it is now officially again that time. <laughs> we are going to be ending the stream at five hours today. Five hours. So true. Um, yeah. <laughs> Quick supper is go keeper here. No, it's okay. Um, please don't do that. I love you, but please don't. And if you do, I, I gotta go anyways, cause like, dang. This <laughs> is getting, this is getting long. It's long. It's huge. This is a huge stream huge. I do need to eat. I had this whole drink on an empty stomach, which I did finish it. This is just the ice, I swear. Um, so I'm gonna go eat and stop. Get out of here, you guys. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go just like relax, have a nice rest of my day. And the next videos for you guys on YouTube. But in the meantime, you better go watch this one. The most recent one. Sorry. You can pee. Hi, Thomas. Thank you for 10 months. Welcome back. If you watched it already, you just have to watch it again. Or go watch one of the ones that you haven't seen yet. That's your homework. I want you to go through my channel and find a video that you haven't seen yet. And then watch it. It's on loop. Thank you. Okay, Miss Lorraine. Okay, Mr. Bren. Ben Broccoli. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here for it. Thank you, NJ. Happy two months. Thank you to everyone on YouTube. Um, wait, what? 
Yeah, I'm on Twitch as well, but I am gonna be getting off both Twitch and YouTube. Streams are ending on both platforms. Okay, but seriously, hold on. Let me just let me just bring you in. Mm -mm. Hold on, I'm struggling. Mm -mm. Listen, listen up. I need to tell you something. This has been one of the most, like, uninhibited streams, especially on YouTube. I'm always a little goofy on Twitch, but, like, specifically today, I've been very much myself. And I just want to say how much I appreciate you not judging me, and if you did, not allowing that judgment to be too much to the point where you don't want to watch the live anymore. Thank you for just like going along with the antics, the tangents, all of the random subject changes, and just thanks for letting me be myself and not getting mad at me for being who I am. I really appreciate it. And I can't stress enough how much it means to me as a person, like an individual human. It's crazy to be able to be yourself around so many people that you don't know. So, thank you for giving me a safe place to be myself, and I hope I can give you the same. Hope this little corner of the internet feels like a safe place for you. I love you and appreciate you so much. Okay. Thank you for everything. Thank you. I'll see you next time. There will be a video out this week. Hopefully a tarot stream on Friday, so I'll stick around for another two days. Friday is coming soon. Hold fast. Hold strong. You can make it, I promise. And I'll be there, and I'll see you then. Okay, let me put you back. <laughs> good night. Good evening, good day. Good everything. Good life. Bye, friends.